Helped high school seniors in the borderland get ready to graduate. Some wonder what college life will be like amid a pandemic. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela reached out to some of the local colleges and asked what the plan is moving forward. With some high school seniors having doubts about whether or not they should hold off for a semester, local colleges are reminding them they have options. We're working on a plan that will make sure that um, we reduce that number of students on campus. That's president of EPCC, Dr. William Serrata, giving an update on the college's hybrid approach for students enrolling in the upcoming semesters. This means EPCC classes will be reduced to 10 students per class, meeting in person once a week or online. Are in courses in any given time from you know a third to more than, no more than a half of those classes being on campus. As for UTEP, President Heather Wilson has set up a task force to help prep for the fall. She explains it in a letter sent out to students and faculty, which reads in part, "Quote: The task force will develop and provide recommendations to UTEP senior leadership team on actions, timelines." resources needed and policies and procedures related to the campus reopening. A spokesperson with NMSU in Las Cruces says it plans to reopen as usual in the fall, adding enrollment has been up. The university says the safety of students and staff is top priority. I don't think anybody really has a good sense of what the future holds with regard to uh, COVID-19 and the spread of this virus. So we're trying to make those plans as flexible as possible so we can accommodate as many students as possible. For those on the fence about enrolling during a pandemic, universities suggest... Don't wait. Don't hold off. We're here for you. We can't wait to see you on campus this fall. We want to make sure that everything is done uh, to benefit you as a student to ensure your success. Even if it's one, two courses, even if it's online because you don't feel comfortable yet, please enroll. I cannot overemphasize how important it is to enroll immediately. I want to make sure that students have about a 1% chance of earning a credential. I want to make sure that they have a 99% chance. And officials with you UTEP say more plans on reopening the university will be discussed this week. We'll, of course, keep you posted. Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News. Tatiana, thank you.